All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. Here we go, lesson 1.6. Now, I'm gonna start off with an example. And this example is gonna help you learn a new concept that you probably haven't done before, and that is called expressions. And before we get to expressions, let's say that Mr. Nicanor is balling out of control. Bam. That is Mr. Nicanor's wallet. He's got all these dollar dollar bills, yo. And so, he's got a thick wallet. Now, if I close that up and you didn't see it, Let's just ask you, how much money does Mr. Nicanor have? And everyone would say, uh, that could just be cheap bills or fake bills. But no, let's say that they're real bills. How many do I have? And instead of counting and figuring all that out, we can use expressions. Now, if we use the letter M to represent the total amount of money that Mr. Nicanor has, do you know what that would be called? It would be called a variable. M will be our variable. We don't know how much M is or how much money Mr. Nicanor has. Remember, M would be the total amount of money Mr. Nicanor has inside of his wallet. Now let's say Mr. Nicanor takes out $20 from his wad of cash. Boom. Let's take out $20. Okay? So $20 has now been taken out of the total area. If I'm holding $20 in my hands, that means there's $20 missing from here. If I was to ask you, how much money does Mr. Nicanor have? We would have to account for that $20 bill. If we did that, our expression would be M as a total amount of money inside of it. But remember, we're missing 20, so we have to add $20. So when we look at it in total, let's see if I can move this up and I can't. How do we move this? Oh, can't move all that. We can now use examples. Let's say that if Mr. Nicanor had this, let's move this over a bit. If M was equal to, let's say 2000, if Mr. Nicanor had $2,000 left in his wallet, I would always have to add 20 because I took out that $20 bill. If, for example, I had 3,000 in here, then it would be 3,000 plus the $20 bill that I took out. Okay, now let's put that $20 bill back in there. How much would M be? I wouldn't need any of this stuff on the side anymore. So let's just erase all this. Is it erasing? Here we go. And there we go. We wouldn't need any of the 20 because I took it all out. So if I erase all this and take this out, do, 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 do. take that bad boy out, M would then be the total amount of money, once again, that Mr. Nicanor had. And how much would that be? Well, if M was 2020, then it's 2020 because I didn't take out that um, cash. Or if it was 3020, it would be 3020 because I didn't take out that $20 bill. That was a small introduction to expressions. All right, one. Can you turn with me to page number, which number is it? 22. Page number 22. We're describing relationships using expressions. Our goal for today is to use variables in expressions. And using the wallet example, we were able to use a variable of M and the expression of M plus 20 to show that the number, or sorry, the amount of money Mr. Nicanor had in his wallet plus a $20 bill was the amount of cash Mr. Nicanor has on him every single day. No, no, no. Don't try and check my pockets because there's no money there. Ha, <laughs> ever. Okay, let's read our example, shall we? Jolie is checking the dates on her class calendar. She says that the first soccer game in October is always three days after Thanksgiving. Oh, interesting. So that's the introduction. If the first soccer game in October is always three days after Thanksgiving, let's look at, look at this calendar. What should the question be? How can you use expressions with variables to describe calendar dates? Ah, let's look here. Uh, here is the bake sale. 
here's Thanksgiving and one, two, three days after Thanksgiving is a soccer game. And then there's a drama presentation the week after. Soccer games almost every Thursday. School assembly, harvest fair, and a can drive. Okay. So, how can you use expressions with variables to describe calendar dates? What does Jolie do? Let me zoom in just a little bit. Actually, let's look at some definitions here. A variable is a letter or symbol that represents the number. Remember, I used the letter M. That's what the variable is. An expression, a phrase that uses an operation with numbers and variables. So, for example, N plus 10. Here is your variable plus plus 10. Okay, here we go. Jolie said, I'll use the variable T. So she uses the letter T to represent the date of Thanksgiving. So if Thanksgiving is T, she can then write an expression to represent the date of the first soccer game. So Thanksgiving plus three is the date of the first soccer game. Do you see how that worked? T plus three. Now, if the soccer game was four days after Thanksgiving, can you tell me what the answer should be? If you said T plus four, you got it right. Now let's take a look at some of the questions that we can work on together. Letter A, why can you describe the date for the second game as T plus 10? Press pause and write down your answer and come back when you're finished. If you came up with that the soccer game is 10 days after Thanksgiving, then you got it right. Because seven days after her first game, which is three days after Thanksgiving, is, you know, 10 days after. So let's even count that. Here we go. And get my pointer. Here's Thanksgiving. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can you estimate when the third soccer game would be? If you said 17 days, because 7 plus 10, so this is 10 days after, this is 7, let's try that. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Woo! Math rocks! All right, let's get back to over here. Write an expression, this is B, write an expression for the date for the third soccer game in October. And we just did that. And what was it? We have... T plus 17 is the expression. Wonderful. Now, let's get to letter C. How do you know that the bake sale can be described as T minus 5? Who? How can we tell that? Let's go over here. How can we tell that the expression is true? If we count the days backwards, and if I write it down here, Thanksgiving is right here. We've got one day, two, three, four, five. So Thanksgiving is T and you take away five days. You get your first bake sale. Okay, now let's move on to D. Write three different expressions to describe how the second Wednesday on the calendar is related to the other events. Very interesting. Again, let's read this again. Write three different expressions to describe how the second Wednesday on the calendar is related to, to other events. The second Wednesday. Here is the second Wednesday. Right here. Okay, let's mark that as an X. Maybe a red X just so it comes out more. Can we find three different expressions? So, if the Wednesday is here, let's first find a variable. Can we do W as the variable? So, if I went to, maybe I can move this all up and we can do it at the bottom here. That won't work. Yes, that will work much better. Okay. Now, we can do several things. Let's pick any event here. We can do... Dates like the school assembly. We can do the drama presentation because we haven't done that yet. And let's be very tricky and do the harvest fair. All right. Now, 
if we made our variable w because it's Wednesday, what would our expression be? Let's start with the drama presentation. The drama presentation is six days away. So that means the expression would be w6. Press pause now to find out what the expression would be for the school assembly, for the harvest fair, and just for a bonus, can you tell me the expression for the bake sale using Wednesday, the second Wednesday right here, as your base? All right, here are some answers. Give yourself a check if you put W plus 6 as the drama presentation, if you put W plus 20, 16 is the school assembly, so that's W plus 16, W plus 20 is the harvest fair, and as your bonus, W minus 7 is the bake sale. Give yourself a pat on the back if you got all those correct. Okay, now let's go to E. E says, choose two events in the October calendar, write two expressions with variables to show how the dates for these events are related. Now, if you wanted to find an expression for, and we can erase this, so two different events, and I want you to write the expression for two different dates and how they're related. All right, we've used pretty much everything on the board, but let's just try and find something pretty clever. Like say this pumpkin right here. If we had this pumpkin over here, right here, we'll use the variable P for pumpkin. And pumpkin to the harvest fair would be one, two days. So how long is it from the pumpkin day to the harvest fair? It is P plus two as its expression. The same thing can be said about the first soccer game. How long is it from the first soccer game to the drama presentation? Let's make the soccer game, let's use S as the variable, just so we remember it's soccer game. How many days will it take until the drama presentation? Five days. Can you tell me what the expression should be? You're right. S plus five. That's what the expression would be for the soccer game in relation to the drama presentation. And P2 would be the expression for the pumpkin day and the harvest fair. Well done. So we went through all these examples. If there was anything unclear, I would love for you to go back, re-listen, redo some of the questions until you have a good handle of it. And when you do, I'll see you at class. Bye now.